We found this 1994 Dodge Viper RT10 hidden in a barn and pulled it out for the first time. But some of you might be thinking, wait, I recognize that owner and I recognize this car. And to that I say, you are right. A little over a year ago, Matt contacted us with this car because it was sitting in his driveway for three years after his brother had passed away and left it to him. And while he was in the middle of getting it back on the road, he had a heart attack and it stopped him from working on it. But this time we have no excuse for why it's like this. And I even got RJ's first reaction to seeing the car. What the f dude, what the hell happened to it, dude? Matt! I don't even have words for it right now. I know everybody's gonna yell at me. What the hell, man? I left the barn doors open and the guys were cutting the wood molding out for the around the windows and that in the house and all the dust was just blowing right inside. What do you think, RJ? <laughs> I told you it was bad. I'm glad it's inside now. <laughs> That's much better than out in the in the yard. Alright, so hang on. Before we drag this thing out. What is, what's the actual plan? I was driving it down the road and the fuel filter failed and all the gas dumped out and I had it towed home and I haven't been able to mess with it because it was winter time and that. On one condition, we'll do it again. Where's it going after this? Back in here with the car cover. Okay, condition one, car cover. And condition two, you get it running and driving, you drive it sunny days in the summer. At least once every two weeks. Only, I will. That's a condition. It will. I mean, there's only so many 94 Vipers around anymore and uh, Matt, I mean, what the frick, dude? All right, let's pack it out. All right. Oh, My bad. <laughs> Matt just ran a bunch of stuff over and he goes, this is where I learned, this is the magnet from my driving academy, knockout driving academy. <laughs> I just hit stuff. <laughs> Oh, and what was right there, you guys know it was right there, was the Bel Air. So now we were finally able to start getting the car out of the barn. But instead of a question of the video, I want to do something a little bit different this time. If you guys feel so inclined, leave some words of encouragement for Matt in the comments below. He reads all the comments in our videos, especially when he's in them. And we really want to encourage him to fully get this thing back on the road. But we do have a little surprise for you guys that Matt wanted to do at the end of the video. So if he was able to get it running, make sure you watch all the way through to see what that was. did this car over a year ago, and I don't think we ever opened the trunk. We're not perfect. Oh, is this why we didn't do it last time? Oh, well, it doesn't stay open. To further build on our stupidity, <laughs> I was like, we need to get something to prop the, the hood latch up. I can't believe the struts are blah, 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 blah. Car guys. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> oh, wow, what do you know? <laughs> I've never seen that on a trunk, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Now, have you guys seen trunk supports like that before? If you have, what cars do they come on? Because we have definitely never seen that. All right, so now we actually washed the car and cleaned the engine bay before we put the car in the lift. And that's when we took the wheels off and the front bumper so we can get into places that we wouldn't be able to reach otherwise and really get that detail that we're looking for.
Okay, so Matt did tell me that this car has a Hennessy engine in it. We're not 100% sure because we didn't see any markings anywhere, but, but do you guys have any context or clues by looking at it, whether that's true or not? He also did say that he had a receipt to it, but I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. All right, so today we actually caught another mouse and we set out a bunch of these, well, two of these traps because we saw one mouse, Brent saw one mouse, and where there's one, there's definitely more. So we got a little guy today. Brent, what should we name this little guy? I don't even have a name for this one. Dude, I want Stewie Little, bro. He's so small. So what do you guys think that this little guy's name should be? All right, guys, so as you already know, we always let these mice go that we find, and we found a really good spot to let them go, so here we go. You ready, buddy? Whee! There you go, buddy. Look, see you later. And then it was finally time to get her up on the lift. Let's settle this. In the, in the comments, please settle. Do you guys think this is a big caliper or a wee tiny little caliper? This is... Golf carts have bigger calipers, No, that's Michael. not true. It doesn't have bigger calipers. This is a very large rear brake, especially for a car from 1994. Rotor is big. That's all it needs. Check out all the caked on brake dust in this barrel. If you guys are curious about the easiest way to get that out, all you need to do is use a hydrofluoric acid mixed with an iron remover and some steel wool to agitate it, and then you pressure wash it away, and that should be it. Okay. Wow, and then, can you disconnect the electric Holy on that side? Holy smokes. That's stinking there, dude. Wow. All right, so this is a little bit of a throwback to those of you guys who have been watching us for a long time. If you guys remember, this is actually the first car that we ever did on the channel. We did it a long time ago, almost three years. This is my brother. Hi. I haven't even met the dog yet. This is Kevin. I'm getting bit already. Hello. <laughs> How dirty is your car now? Just as bad as it was three years ago. Three years later. <laughs> it went right back to what it was. Nice. Yeah, it looks like you're keeping it, uh, Nice and clean. First car we ever did, and this is how it looks now. In case anyone wanted an update. And now at this point, we went ahead and dropped the car off the lift so we could start working on the interior before Matt got there and tried to get this car to start running again. Leave a comment if you guys think it'll actually turn over. These speaker grill covers have seen better days. They look terrible, a little bit rusty. I'm gonna be removing them and hopefully spritzing them black just so they have a little bit more life to them. And we have a new nickname for Mike now. His new name is Marginal Mike. Marginal Mike. makes things marginally better. Not perfect. But marginal Mike makes it marginally, mar mar margarinely better. I like that. I don't like margin, but margarine though. I like butter. But <laughs> I'll make it. I'll make it butter. I'll make it butter. Ah, and the driver behind it is shot too. But we'll clean this up so it looks a little bit better. All right. So now that these are done, we're gonna stick them back on. They were held on with some kind of like RTV gasket maker or silicone. So I put a little bit of silicone on this and it should pop right back on. Do, do, do. Bam! Looks much better.
So for the seats, I vacuumed them first and then I used APC with a stiff bristle brush and really worked it into the pores of the material. And then after cleaning everything, I went ahead and used a conditioner just to make it soft again and protect it. And for the carpets, it wasn't even necessary to use a pressure washer. I went ahead and vacuumed them first, and then I sprayed our carpet soap all over them, agitated it with a drill brush, and I sucked it all away with the extractor. And what do you know, guys? Matt is about to be here to see his car. I walked over here, checked one on our mouse traps again. We caught another one. So it looks like we have a little bit of a problem here at our shop. That's a tiny little guy too. So what should we name him? I don't know. We're gonna go let him go right now though. So I'm back at the park to release this guy exactly where I released the other one. Hopefully the siblings can reunite. There you go. There he goes. Into your new home. But do it like you're a YouTuber. You can, this is your chance. Give me energy and pizzazz. Ready? Yeah. I did mention I went out for a ride. Gas started going out everywhere and the car died. The fuel line split open. I wasn't able to find a new fuel filter for it at the time. Nobody had it in stock. So I put an aftermarket fuel filter on it and the rubber hose that I put on failed. We got a new fuel filter, then charge the battery, put some gas in it. She should fire right up and we can go sideways. <laughs> you ready, Arjit? I'm not going sideways. Right back there. This looks like out of a Miata. Right, <laughs> right. It's size difference. It's like a... Good three times the size. Yeah, it's like a Bud Light can over there. It's like <laughs> a baby, baby food jar. We gotta get you new tires. <laughs> Maybe on the third in detail, the, we'll do, in the we'll do new tires and the fourth detail. We'll do a complete paint job. This car will be brand new. <laughs> One day or another. Yeah. Hey, the battery pack. Oh, you were gonna drive off with it. You were so excited. We would have figured it out one way or another, right? Yeah. 